Hey fellow founders, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm talking about how I use a platform called Missing Letter along with ChatGPT to automatically create uh, 12 months of social media content to promote articles that I've published on my blog. So I'm just on the Missing Letter website. Uh, if you're not familiar with the platform, it's, it's similar to other tools like Buffer, Hootsuite, etc. Uh, but when I purchased Missing Letter, uh, this is a number of years ago now, one of the main things that they really focused on was the ability that you could provide them with a link to a blog or an article and it would automatically go and create around nine pieces of content and automatically schedule those over the course of a year so that you can constantly kind of reshare your content without necessarily thinking about it. Now, obviously, when you write a blog post or an article, um, it's not just valuable for that one day. It should hopefully have value uh, for your readers for many, many months, if not years. And Missing Letter was a platform that allowed you to very easily schedule this content out over time. So I'm just going to close the incognito window because I just wanted to start on their landing page there and go into my dashboard. Uh, so when you come into Missing Letter, uh, basically, you will uh, be able to see on your dashboard uh, some of the activity, past performance, etc. Uh, but what we're interested in today is campaigns. This is a tool that I've kind of been using on and off, and admittedly, I haven't put enough effort into it recently. Uh, but now, uh, you know, I really want to start using this in a lot more um, consistent fashion, and I've found a little bit of a way to do that in a streamlined manner. So if you go to drafts, um, you do have to set up prior, you know, basically pointing your R RSS feed from your blog uh, to missing letters so that it knows to be able to pull in uh, all of the content over time. Also need to set up the different uh, social channels that you want to push to. I won't cover that in this video, that's not the point of it. I do just want to talk about how I use ChatGPT to enhance uh, the capabilities that exist within missing letter. So if I go to set up campaign, uh, what you'll see is that missing letter first of all uh, provides you with the ability to select the different hashtags that you want to use throughout the campaign. Now, if you go through this process uh, and use it automatically, what uh, Missing Letter will do is automatically create these tweets for you. Now, it might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm actually going to delete all of the hashtags. I'm also going to delete all of the media because I prefer just uh, that the media shows the, um, you know, the URL itself um, and the image that comes along with the URL. So I'm going to delete that. And here you see all of the quotes. <clears throat> um, so what Missing Letter does is it searches through that article and kind of picks out um, sentences or quotes that it thinks are interesting and hopefully going to drive some engagement with the tweet. Now, I've used this, um, you know, just stock standard with Missing Letter for some time, uh, but I feel that maybe on, on Twitter it's not really kind of the driving enough engagement. So that's why I'm trying this new process uh, with ChatGPT. So for now, you do have to leave them all selected. It, you'll see in a minute when we're going to hit build campaign. <coughs> and this is basically uh, what I was talking about. So, you know, uh, missing letter automatically takes these uh, quotes, populates them. It would put in those hashtags if we left them there previously. And also, if you go here, you can also, um, if you didn't delete all of the media, you'd be able to cycle through the different images. Uh, you can also cycle through quotes that they put into these uh, images as well. But as I said, I left it just so it's the kind of thumbnail and the direct link to the article. That's my personal preference. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to day zero. Uh, and we're going to head over to ChatGPT where I've got a little bit of a prompt here. Using ChatGPT4 to browse with Bing, I'm going to say, hey, read this article. Uh, and we do need to change it because the article that we're uh, working on is this one here. So this is my little prompt. Then come up with 12 unique tweets. Missing letter only needs nine, but I asked for 12 in case I don't like any. Uh, the tweets should include some insightful information from the article that encourages the person to read the whole thing. Please include emojis to make the tweet engaging. And I just added this recently, like when using hashtags, please place the hashtags before any link to the article. Uh, otherwise you kind of have to do two sets of cut and paste. So we'll just hit generate here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, chat GPT gives us what we want. I have found a little bit of a weird uh, I guess bug in that if you uh, cut and paste that same prompt multiple times within one chat, uh, chat GPT gets confused and sometimes it starts answering it a completely different way. Um, there we go, hidden error. I'll try and regenerate and hopefully this works. And I'll show you that error a little bit later on if we get a chance. So we're just going to wait for this to generate. 
<clears throat> taking a little bit longer than expected. <clears throat> reading content, scrolling down. Reading content failed. That is fantastic. We are not having much luck here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump back while it's doing that and I'm going to show you uh, basically what it produces. So I'm going to go up here, read this article, uh, generate these tweets. And as you can see, puts in the emoji, but what it was doing is putting in the link um, there or the placeholder for the link followed by the um, hashtag. So I just asked it. That's why I changed that prompt to include the hashtags before the link. Um, and then it automatically generates these. If I go back to another one here, you'll see I asked it, you know, the same prompt, generate these tweets, uh, and then I asked it, hey, now read this article and do the same thing, and it started answering in a completely different fashion. So that's why I've just opened a new chat. You might find the same thing, uh, and obviously this didn't work. So let's copy, actually, let's just, yeah, let's copy and paste it, put it into a new chat, see if we just need to um, try again. Obviously, chat GPT is a little bit... Um, temperamental at times as we all know if you've been using it consistently like I have <clears throat> sorry I got a little bit of a cold still so <laughs> apologies for the the crackly voice <clears throat> at times <clears throat> okay here we go we're getting what we want so let's just has an, okay, it has included a hashtag there in the body. So we'll copy that one as a starting point. Go back to missing letter. Uh, and then what we can do is obviously just paste this in here and um, go through to the next one. So you'll see it was on day zero, so straight away, and then day three. Um, and then we'll just take our second one. I'm not going to go through all of these for the purpose of time. Uh, but I do just want to point out one thing. So here we can see, like, this is the, the standard quote that it took AI driven algorithms can analyze customer data and provide insights into their needs and preferences leading to accelerated sales cycles. Not really something I'm going to click on uh, if I read that, right? This, in my opinion, is a bit better. An efficient B2B sales process helps in identifying issues and taking corrective measures for increased prof increased revenue. Don't let inefficiencies eat into your profits. Learn more. Okay, like, again, it's not... Um, you know, the best tweet you could create if you were manually writing this, but hey, it's a lot quicker than having to manually come up with nine or 12 different tweets. And compared to the um, out of the box ones provided by uh, missing letter, I do just feel it's a little bit more engaging, especially when it includes the emoji. So now you can see we've gone to day seven. Uh, we'll just paste in one more. Hey, navigate the complex maze of B2B sales. Innovate and improve customer experiences for driving revenue growth. Start by understanding your sales operations. Read the guide. To me, that's pretty, you know, it tells me what I'm going to get when I read this article. It's a bit more engaging. It's got the emojis and it might prompt me a little bit more to take action. So I'll just skip through the next uh, couple of days. So you can see day 30, day 90, day 180, day 270, and then back to day 365. So that's, sorry, not back today, <laughs> two days 365. So we've kind of come to the end because uh, we then go back to day zero. But you can see there it's automatically creating that a year long um, cycle of content that you can use. You can set optional start dates as well. So if you don't want to publish it today, maybe you want to publish it tomorrow. You can also stop it. Uh, so if this is content that maybe is time specific, you know, maybe it's content, um, you know, you're announcing something that's relevant for this quarter or this year, um, you know, six month period or year, and you want to make sure it doesn't go into 2024, you can also do that. So I'm going to stop the video there, go through the rest of uh, the cut and paste uh, that I've done. Uh, and then once you do that, you just hit launch campaign and uh, missing letter takes care of the rest. And you've got the whole 12 months of social content generated for you. Hope that was of value. Um, one, in one of the follow-up videos, I'll kind of report back on this little bit of an experiment and see if using a chat GPT prompted uh, tweets with missing letter provides better results than the out-of-the-box ones that missing letter does. Comment down below uh, if you have any thoughts, opinions, or strategies on how we can up our social media game, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.